I've been personally tracking the uh, popularity of Mindstorms. It was very popular uh, like 10 years ago and before. Um, unfortunately, its popularity has been on a de decline even after the release of the 51515 set. Um, so unfortunately, I don't see Mindstorms returning itself. Uh, and historically, you know, there has always been the home set of Mindstorms and an education sup supplemental version of that set. And for example, when the EV3 came out, the NXT was still around in the form of education, but it got replaced by EV3 later down the line. And initially, I was quite concerned that the educational version Spike Prime would also uh, go the way of Mindstorms. But uh, considering it's still selling right now, I personally think they'll keep producing that brick, at least that brick uh, with the six ports and the educational version I think will still sell. But Mindstorms itself, I don't think will return. Um, Powered Up can't really replace Mindstorms on the same level. Yes, you can program it, but it's definitely much less advanced. It's meant to be kind of a cheaper version that bridges the gap between power functions and Mindstorms. And I've always wanted to see Mindstorms in LEGO Technic. So Powered Up is, is a really good thing that happened with LEGO Technic, in my opinion, because we can finally program the Lego Technic sets and I've always loved watching mods on YouTube of like people putting Mindstorms uh, motors and the Mindstorms computers into massive Lego Technic sets so I, I think uh, Powered Up is kind of the, the future of um, of Lego Electronics and of course you know eventually something will replace Powered Up just like Powered Up replaced power functions um, maybe in the future we'll use the Apple Vision Pro to control our Lego Technic sets